What's going on there folks? Today I'm going to take you through how to use the bitmap to vector tool. We are going to be using a combination of ChatGPT, uh, Carveco, Maker Plus, and Lightburn. We're going to be using ChatGPT to produce us an image like this. Uh, it's going to be black and white. Generally I find that when I'm using my laser, it, the image looks a whole lot more clear after it's burned when I'm using vectors rather than just dropping the image into the software. This is a good way of getting a better image from your laser. You can use ChatGPT to come up with these. Um, it's really all about the prompt. We're gonna go ahead and type one in. The key is that it needs to be a silhouette type image. A silhouette of aggravated tiger. It's to be black and white only. High resolution that a CNC soft can convert it into vectors. So I went ahead and plugged that in. Obviously, you don't have to use Aggravated Tiger if you don't want to. Um, I think this looks really cool, so we'll go ahead and move forward with this example. You're going to want to go ahead and download this image from ChatGPT and save it to a location of your choice. Make sure when you save this image that you're saving it as a PNG. Down here, save as type, you'll have PNG in the list. Make sure it's saved as a PNG. And I'll just call this Aggravated Tiger 2. You can do whatever you want. All right, so once we've definitely got that saved as a PNG, we can go ahead and come back out here. Go ahead and maximize CarveCo software. Um, go over to your right side. You see here you have a bitmap section. Right click on that and click on import. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, load the image that you just saved. I'm actually gonna use one that I created um, a couple of minutes ago. Click on open. You'll see that it fills the whole workspace here. Now go ahead and click on your bitmap to vector tool up here top left. The key behind this whole thing is to reduce the colors down to two. Uh, the software is going to pick up our primary color which we're going to designate as black. Um, so this is going to ensure that the only colors in this image are black and white. Chat GPT will put several different uh, types of grays in that image. So this is the most important part behind using this tool. Okay, uh, click on create vectors and we have vectors. Super easy. Uh, one thing that you make want to make sure that you do before you send this over to your laser software is get rid of the square background that's produced here. So just highlight that and click on delete. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all of those vectors right there and then come up here, click on vector and then click on export. I'm going to save these vectors as an SVG, so that way my laser software, which is Lightburn, uh, can recognize it and go ahead and import it into that area. I'll just save this as something I recognize, two vector. Now, if you wanted to check these vectors before you export them, you can just go over here to the right side. Um, you have toggle vector visibility here. That'll allow you to hide vectors, or you can go up here to draw a zero plane, and that'll turn off your material so that you can check your vectors before you export them. And here you can make any modifications you want to, uh, delete them, move them around, however you want, until uh, you're satisfied with that, and then you can go and put them in your laser software. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Lightburn next here, and we'll click on File, Import, and we'll go ahead and import that vector that I just saved. This will come up way too big. You need to make sure you resize this within Lightburn. Uh, 12 by 12, just for an example here. And there you go. These are your vectors. Click on Window Preview. And this is what I'm projected to produce on my laser. Um, so doing some further tweaking with Lightburn before I actually get this to my laser. You know, it's going to be whatever you want for your specific project. Um, but this is a way to do it. So going back into Carveco here, I just want to show you one other thing. So you have a whole vector library here in the Carveco software. Click on vector and vector library to add uh, your vectors that you've just created. Click on new and then go to where you saved your vector and select the folder where you have those contained. Click on OK. And here I have my vectors for future use. If I delete these right now. I have them here in my library just click on that boom there it is so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a brief tutorial on how to use chat gpt to input 
uh, the image into Carve Code Maker Plus to create vectors to use on your laser software or however you use your vectors. Um, if you found this information useful, like, subscribe, follow. We'll see you on the next video.